Alright, welcome back to part 3 of the Let's Play of Mac Warrior 2. Now for this video I got the suggestion to make a, a layout uh, for a Mac, a Fire Moth with uh, lots of small lasers. Or as somebody in the chat called it, a Turbo Can Opener. Fire Moth. So here we have the Fire Moth with my user variant. Uh, basically all I did was put a whole bunch of uh, small lasers on it and attached a couple more heat sinks and that's about it. And we are still under the 20 ton uh, limit. Uh, the funny thing is this Mac is actually pretty well uh, equipped to deal with the coming mission. And let's just open that over here. Uh, because we have a sparse urban terrain, which means there will be uh, lots of buildings that we can use as cover or to hide behind. So we've got a fast mech, we've got a pretty powerful punch for a short range attack. And the only thing that we need to do is to inspect a building and see if the power converter is being used for cryoplasmic conversion. And if it is, we need to destroy it and then get out of there to Nav Delta. So knowing that, and I already kind of know where the power converter is, this should actually be pretty easy with a fast Mac like this. So let's see how we do. Alright, we just enabled mask for a speed boost. Group fire engaged. Our group fire. Our group fire barely detected. creates any heat. And I already know where the power converter is, basically. So let's see if we can avoid any enemies. Inspect the power converter and blow it up. And if we get hit one or two times, we're basically dead. So we gotta be really careful that we try and avoid all the uh, the enemy groups here. Light amplification engaged. Okay, it's straight ahead. Let's try and use it a bit as a shield. Oh shit. Okay. Critical uh. target. Power converter inspected. Power converter is active. Primary objective: destroy power converter. Successful. Proceed to dust dump zone for extraction. That was kind of a close call. Satellite link established. Maybe I should try get into uh, the building area. I'm too wide open over here. Satellite link established. I need some cover. If I get shot in the back, it's over. <clears throat> Satellite link established. Okay, how close are we? One more K. Satellite link established. Nav gamma reached. There it is. Alright, we made it. The enemy is vanquished. 
Okay, so this is the aftermath, bit of story. So yeah, so we did the mission with basically a joke mech. But in this case, it proved to be quite useful. Normally, I would have chosen a Nova here with a bit of a boosted engine for speed. Uh, also a couple of lasers on it. Uh, that would have been kind of the same run, but uh, yeah, a bit safer. But this worked out in the end, so that's nice. Let's see what's, uh, what's the next mission. Okay, let's see. We've got a Planet Baker 3, Snowy Pass at dawn. We must escort a repair vehicle and then defend. Let's see, defend escort, defend repair vehicle, destroy all attacking units and escort repair vehicle. Okay, this sounds like we need to destroy quite a lot of mechs in this uh, case. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of situation here. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the mech lab. Uh, we've got a 65 ton limit here. Hellbringer, Rifleman, Summoner, Rifleman. We could take a Rifleman, hellbringer. or we can take the Hellbringer. Rifleman. Let's check out the Rifleman. I think somebody in the chat suggested a Rifleman with a bit of a missile layout. Uh, let's see what we can do over here. We start stripping the existing lasers. Let's see, I think when we are going to defend a unit, we don't need very long range missiles for that. In fact, all the missiles have the same range, by the way. Uh, let's see. Let's take pretty powerful ones for starters. And we'll add two. We'll add a bunch of ammo. About one more. Okay, then heat sinks. I don't think missiles generate a lot of heat. We could try deleting a couple of these. And maybe add even more ammunition. Yeah, we'll just go to the, the max ammunition here. Uh, let's see if we can boost the engine a bit. Let's see, can we go faster than this? Yeah. Okay, that's too much tonnage. Okay, do we have? Yeah, we're not going to have enough space for all this ammunition. Okay, let's just start assigning stuff. See how far we get. Well, actually, we're getting pretty far. Okay, well, I guess we just need to get rid of the last three heat, heat sinks here. Mm, let's see, we'll make space here and then assign last endo steel. Over here. Nice. We are pretty much below tonnage. Maybe you can boost the speed a bit more. Yes, we can. Okay, this sounds good. Let's see how we do in this mission with just missiles. Planet Baker 3. Ambient temperature 26.67 degrees. Local time is 14. 2437 GST. All systems nominal. Okay, so right there in the center is a mech that's going to be repaired and we need to defend it. 
this little car over here is going to repair it. Um, we want to draw the fire away from that mech as much as possible. So we'll try and get a bit more out in the open. Fire engaged. And see if we can engage the enemies a bit away from the, uh, from the center area. Let's see, can we maybe attack this guy from the back over here? Okay, our missiles take quite some time to reload, so we need to keep moving in between. We also have jets for little speed boosts. Okay, that guy is missing. Nice, that's one less. Uh, let's see, let's try and take out this enemy over here. Okay, this guy is... Okay, we've got another one incoming. We've got to be careful because we're storing a lot of ammunition in our arms. So the chance of us losing an arm here is pretty big. Uh, let's see, where is he going? Where is he landing? He's right on top of me. Fuck. All right. Let's create some distance here. This guy should be our next target. Guy is also down to his last leg. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, stuck no yeah the jump jets are good for dodging missiles because we can get out of the trajectory pretty quickly I'm not sure what happened there but I think these missiles can home in I hope that Mac is being repaired soon because this is taking a long time. Alright. Well, we've got lots of ammo, so that should be no issue here. Okay, one more. I think we might actually make it. Okay, how are we doing? We've got lots of ammunition. Our mech is still in pretty good shape. Uh, 
Guess we have to wait. Enemy power up detected. Oh boy. Enemy power up detected. Let's see, these are pretty far away. But they'll should be in range pretty soon. Hopefully we can get a lock on them. You know what? Let's try and meet them with a bit of a uh, flanking action here. Should be getting in range pretty soon. Nice. Looks to be pretty solid hit. Enemy mech destroyed. Okay. Let's meet them head on. Okay, that got his attention. That guy has lost his leg. Let's focus on the other one for now. Okay, another one lost his leg. Nice. to take care of this one. We've got 11 more minutes remaining on the clock. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a timer running below the objectives. There it goes. ETA dropship, thirty seconds. Nav Sigma reached. Ships in the area. Centers indicate arrival of reinforcements. Primary objective defend T5 reconnaissance unit. Successful. Mission successful. Nice. Another successful mission. Let's see. We've got some aftermath. Yeah, that uh, that's two successful missions. 
Um, I think uh, that's enough for this video. I'll see you guys next time.